Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radku Tarot and this is going to be Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon and Aquarius Rising monthly tarot reading August 2018. Before we start guys, if you want to go even deeper into your month apart from that general tarot reading, <clears throat> you can purchase the extensive, the extensive tarot reading for just as little as one dollar and there you will find two spreads, a video that contains two spreads for career and for relationship for your star sign. Now let's go to the general reading which is um, for this month I have chosen a seven card spread now the first card represents the topic the the carry on circumstances in the uh, in the month of July uh, in the month of August excuse me and then we do have the um, topic of the month here with the three of wands followed by uh, the intentions you can have or the things you can aim for that will be the six of swords followed by the uh, king of wands which is the best possible approach toward the situation here then uh, we have the people which are surrounding you in these situations that will be the ten of cups Three of Cups represents the challenges to be overcome and the final card, wow, all right, represents the um, the final outcome. So, <laughs> quite of a uh, dappled month with, um, with a lot of um, enterprises, should I say, you know, a lot of things are going <clears> to... <throat> Are gonna come and go now the carry on circumstances here with the judgment card this is the wake up call this is uh, in, uh, this is generally the wake up call card and it does represent um, the uh, the wholeness of the situation should I say so it is when the shaft and when the hub falls in the uh, when the shaft holds into the hub all right so uh, uh, that card represents a, a a meaningful activity that will carry on from the past month to this month of uh, from the month of, of July to the month of August and you will continue on um, <clears throat> improving that you know meaning uh, meaningful activity for yourself either relationship wise or career wise the judgment card it is the uh, combining the differences in the sense of that this time around um, whatever you are dealing with here will not cause you any annoyment and is not going to aggravate you now we go to the second card which represents the topic and the topic is uh, that you are going to sit on already established patterns here with the tree of uh, with the tree of wands. Uh, now knowing that uh, the efforts you are placing either into your career or either into your your relationship will be synergized with the benefits you or with the gains, should I say, that you are seeing from them. So in other words, you are going to. Uh, uh, your effort is not going to be futile, but they will have their uh, reciprocal um, <clears throat> reciprocal gains. And uh, the Tree of Wands, it is where you have to even aim to improve even further. And how that could happen? By one, placing additional challenges in front of yourself. So, this card says that uh, for the month of August, you are going to do something challenging into your career, just so you can show more capable than you are right now, or into your relationship, you are going to do something crazy there, or it is advisable for you to do something crazy there, that will challenge the relationship and is going to ignite even further your... Um, you know your enthusiasm for your partner but in general the tree of wands speaks for growth and that growth could as i said happen only through when one is placing challenging challenges in front of yourself in front of oneself excuse me but if you aquarius is wants the month to be totally normal you know be my guest and do nothing i mean just do what uh, what is what you're supposed to do without even putting any um any toes behind behind to improve your performance and there you go you have the month that it is totally totally normal but um, <clears throat> the topic of the month points that you will have the opportunities you know to improve your circumstances as I said through by uh, placing uh, additional challenges 
for oneself. That could be the idea for a new project, you know, that could be uh, the idea for new activity into one relationship, etc, etc. And it will be all based on the ongoing patterns that you're doing so it's not going to be something entirely risky and then we do have the six of swords which sees which uh, sits for the intentions you should have or rather what you can achieve during that month six of swords represents transition it represents um yeah transition and mainly the fear of that transition in the sense of that you may start uh, you may think that you have a lot to lose but uh, if you look closely, you know, you will see that, as I said, you are sitting on an established pattern. There is nothing that you can lose. Only from that transition is that you can gain. So it is advisable for you to take a risk and uh, kind of like try to, you know, to do some brave actions toward improvement. Because taking a risk, that is not exactly the term I was searching for. It will, it will seem that you are taking a risk, but in reality it's not going to be that way. This card, however, points that you should seek to be a peacemaker. Right? Try to make a peace with rivals, with, uh, with an opposition as well. Try to find a common ground with the people that you are arguing with. This is going to serve you in a great benefit. And then we have the Knight of Wands as the best possible approach toward the situation here, Tree of uh, Tree of Wands. The Knight of Wands in this case plays nothing but being playful and being ready to experiment, being ready to explore, all right? Because the Knight of Wands is explorer and you have to be the same here. The only problem with that particular state of the card is that one may find themselves having no staying power over one thing and uh, uh, thus being scampering around a lot, uh, among a lot of opportunities just to find themselves at the end not, not, not taking any of it and that should not be you all right so this month you Aquarius needs to find out what works for you all right with the with the knight of wands and that kind of speaks for itself that these ideas here will not be just only one but there will be many so many ships are going to come on your harbor and which ship you are going to take that depends entirely on you but the bottom line here with the nine of wands is as soon as you find out what works for you you have to direct all of your efforts into it that could be related in relationship life or in career life for example you may date a couple of people and as soon as you see which one works for you then you have to kind of like cut loose the rest of them uh, the, the rest of them yes and focus entirely upon the one that you have chosen instead of keeping the others as a a plan b c all the way to z so uh in general as i said this month is going to be very energetic <clears throat> you know for you and uh, the people which are going to surround your situation here with the ten of cups they the, it, this car points that these people will create a, a very comfortable environment for you the ten of uh, cups it's uh, more like a family type card and it seems that only those who are most closest to you in your circle will be um, how can I place it? Will be the people who will speak the truth for you, and will be the people who are in in which you are going to find shelter. Should you find yourself overburdened, should you find yourself in a troublesome situation, etc., etc. But the bottom line is that these people will show you that the life, your life, is yet worth living and the whatever you are in front of here, marked by these couple of cards, you know your ship it is something remarkable and you should not allow to slip through your fingers but instead of slacking you know you as i said needs to start exploring your capabilities now for what i can get from these cars just my personal opinion here guys is that you are going to realize how um how big blessing you do have or rather like a, a weapon if we talk about a, if we talk about it as a weapon you realize how um how much powerful weapon you do have on your disposal here that only awaits you to fire with it all right <clears throat> then the three of cups as a uh, challenges to be overcome now the three of cups here is a bit strange card because it does point that uh, things will happen with delay so that additionally could discourage you 
all right um in a sense of that uh let's say you know you you have placed challenges in front of yourself based on your good performance of, uh, before that and you have reached a certain peace with the people you had to explore your opportunities find the support from the most closest of yours you know and then what happens is you start working for uh, whatever you're after and uh, you work a couple of days a week and things are not taking any shape you know this is what I'm trying to say that they're gonna happen with delay so you need to have a little bit more faith of that your efforts are gonna bear fruits because uh, the tree of swords in that particular uh, in that particular reading um, speaks for uh, seeing the fruits of your labor so you will have that challenge to see the fruits of your labor but that doesn't mean that they aren't there it's just you don't see them yet all right but they are taking shape and you will be able to take advantage of them further into the future now what is important here is as we said that the people will support you that doesn't mean that the people will direct you all right so you will not be able to kind of extract good ideas from those who are surrounding you like business partners friends you know or uh, friends and family etc etc it is all comes to you what kind of an ideas you do have it all falls to what kind of a vision you do have for your relationship for your career etc so um, you have to go with your i cannot say guts but, but with your own personal understanding and at the end we have the ten of swords here which is a uh, uh, the the end of the month it is where you sit and you have to make something drastic all right this is it it is what you're gonna say to yourself when i do that there is no turning back this is what the ten of swords speaks to me here so it's uh, it all comes to that irreversible decision uh, irrevocable decision excuse me or irreversible action that will force a a new era in your life which is going to be based on your vision on your personal vision the already existing patterns that you are established right now with uh, your thorough explore, uh, exploration of the opportunities and of the options available that you do have at the end you will have to make your choice all right and you have to take your direction your new direction that will be a, a new era in your life and i hope that you choose right so that being said, Aquarius, this was your monthly tarot reading for August 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.